Okay, so today I will be teaching you about rational inequalities or how to solve rational inequalities. So here we are going to uh, find the possible value of x given the rational inequalities. Okay, suppose we have this example. So uh, x plus 1 over x minus 5 is less than or equal to 0. Okay, so what are you going to do is to uh, write the inequality in general form. So as you can see, it is already in general form. Let's proceed to solve or simplify this rational inequalities. So what are you going to do is to uh, cross multiply. Cross multiply, so we have x plus 1 times 1, that is x plus 1, then less than or equal to x minus 5 times 0 is 0. Now, simplify this, we have x is less than or equal to negative 1. Okay, so this negative 1 will serve as our critical value. Okay, so negative 1. What are you going to do is to substitute this negative 1 to the rational uh, expression to identify whether uh, this negative 1 is included on our solution. So negative 1, okay, rational uh, expression is less than or equal to 0. Okay, 0. Is it true that negative 1 is less than or equal to 0? So... The answer is yes. It means that negative 1 is included on our given inequality. Okay, so uh, in a number line, we have, suppose this is a straight number line, okay? So 0, negative 1. So since negative 1 is here, we will put uh, here closed circle to indicate that negative 1 is included in our uh, possible value of x. Okay, so uh, the next step will be we have to equate uh, the numerator and denominator to 0. So, numerator, we have x plus 1. Okay, this will be our numerator equal to 0. Then, denominator, x minus 5. x minus 5 is equal to Zero. Then simplify, this will become x is equal to negative 1 and this will be x is equal to positive 5. Now, uh, what are you going to do is to put this, okay? So, uh, the symbol of for inequality less than or equal to and 0 to this answer. So, as you can see, this negative 1 is already this one okay so our critical value so that is included to our uh, possible value of x so critical value then this uh, x is equal to 5 is also our critical value and uh, let's put uh, the inequality symbol that is less than or equal to then 0 now the question is is it true that 5 is less than or equal to 0 the answer is no. Okay, so 5 is greater than 0. Therefore, on our number line, we can say that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our, uh, the value of x, which is 5, is not included to our possible value of x for the given inequality. So we will put, uh, open circle to indicate that uh, positive 5 is not included to our uh, possible value of x. Now, as you can see, uh, our number line is divided into three parts. Okay? So we have this uh, from negative 1 to negative infinity, then from negative 1 to positive 5, wherein 5 is not included, then from positive 5 to positive infinity. 
So what are we going to do is to uh, get uh, or to test points based on uh, those parts or we have to get uh, a specific value on each part. Suppose I will get, okay, let's try. Suppose I will get negative 3 on this part, then we will substitute this negative 3 to uh, our given inequality, which is x plus 1 over x minus 5 is uh, less than or equal to 0. So let's try this uh, left part, okay, from negative 1 to negative infinity. If negative 3 will make this inequality true, which me uh, it means that this part is included uh, in our possible value of x. So let's try, let's substitute x by negative 3. So negative 3 plus 1 over negative 3 minus 5 is less than or equal to 0. Okay, so simplify negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 over negative 3 uh, minus 5 is negative 8. So negative 2 over 8 is 1 fourth. Okay, so negative 2 divide negative 2, 1, negative 8 divide negative 2 is positive 4. So, uh, our inequality symbol is less than or equal to then 0. So, is it true that 1 fourth is less than or equal to 0? Okay, that is no because 1 fourth is greater than 0. Okay, 1 fourth is approximately here. Okay, that is greater than 0. So, it means that this part of the number line or the values on this part is not included on in our possible value of x. So, not included. x natin yan. Then, uh, let's try to get another point from this part naman. Okay? So, positive 3. So, our equation we have x plus 1, that will be 3 plus 1 over x minus 5, that is 3 minus 5. So, 3 plus 1 is 4 over uh, 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Let's simplify 4 over negative 2, that is negative 2. So, what is our inequality symbol? So, neg uh, less than or equal to then we have 0. So, is it true that negative 2 is less than or equal to 0? That is yes. Okay? So, it means that the values on this part from negative 1 to positive 5 will be the possible value of x or, or will be part of the possible value of x. Now, let's try this part. Okay? From positive 5 to positive infinity. So, we have 7. Let's try 7 or positive 7. Okay, let's try to substitute uh, x by 7. So, uh, this, this will become 7 plus 1 over 7 minus 5 is less than or equal to 0. So, 7 plus 1 is 8 over 7 minus 5 is 2 is less than or equal to 0. So, 8 over 2 is 4 is less than or equal to 0. Now, the question is, is it true that 4 is less than or equal to 0? The answer is no. Okay, so 4 is greater than 0. Which means that, okay, this is uh, included. Which means that this part is not included on our possible value of x. Now, our final answer will be, okay, so in an uh, interval form, this will be our final answer. From negative 1 to positive 5, where in positive 5 is not included. Okay, so we will write that in interval notation. Okay, so final answer will be from negative 1, okay, so this uh, symbol means included, okay, negative 1 to positive 5.
not included. Okay, so this symbol means not included. Okay, this will be our final answer for the given inequality. Okay, so it means that our possible value of x is from negative 1 to positive 5, wherein positive 5 is not included.